Hi everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from a Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Uh, we've got another box in today, and uh, this one is the Color Mixing LED Crystal. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead, check it out, see what we've got inside the box, all the pieces and everything that make it up. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get to building and see what uh, what we've got for this. Because honestly, I really don't know what this is really going to be. I have an idea on what it's supposed to do, but, uh, you know, I don't know what the build is. So let's see. All right, guys. Well, here we go. We've got a handful of different things. Lots of paperwork here and a bunch of little pieces. Of course, first thing we've got is the Tinker Zine. And, uh, you know, that's, of course, going to tell us about what all this is. It's uh, illuminating LEDs is what it's talking about here. So obviously I kind of figured out that part of it. And it talks about the LED and uh, kind of the understanding of what LEDs are there. There is uh, talking about living in color and a handful of different things here. Mixed up colors and whatnot. Even a uh, information there on the design and everything itself resistors and some other stuff so lots of information in there you can learn lots about uh, the LEDs and colors and all those kinds of things so definitely things that uh, are, are great to learn and then we've got uh, well we've got a little card here and it's a just a just a simple use instruction kit and it's actually about batteries obviously we're going to be using batteries for this if we're doing something with LEDs uh, then we've got this little piece here. Uh, actually, oh, looks like, oh, yep, it looks like we had a little little mishap where a piece fell out. But we've got these kind of semi-reflective type pieces here. Uh, we've got some of these that look kind of like, um, like apple seeds, I guess, is the easiest way to put it. And then you've got uh, a crossbar kind of piece right there. So we've got a few of those. Uh, I feel like they're kind of like a lightweight metal or something like that. Maybe a piece of aluminum. We have a uh, piece of cardboard here that has a little bit of uh, writing on it. Looks like that's where you use it for stickies and stuff like that. But it's a little T, as you can see. Uh, we have some electronics here. Uh, we've got um, some resistors in there. There are some LEDs in there. There's these little colored... Uh, maybe stickers. I'm not sure in there. Um, we've got some uh, some different push connector cables in there too. And these ones are the nice ones where you just push the end of the wire and it makes the connection. So you don't have to do any kind of soldering or anything like that when you do something like this. We've got the base, which was really cool. They actually already had the base folded up for us. So that makes it nice. Uh, just one less step that we have to kind of go through. We can take and uh, focus more on building the electronic type stuff. We also have the little uh, piece right here, which I'm assuming is supposed to be the crystal. Uh, it does have kind of that crystal looking shape where it's got a bunch of angular straight cuts on it. And it's got kind of that point on the end and everything. So, so uh, you know, you've got that. And uh, for those of you, it kind of reminds me of a very old movie that uh, I, I saw a, year, a long time ago, and I saw it again here more recently, called The Dark Crystal. Kind of makes me think of something like that, and it is a, uh, it is a movie with uh, puppets and everything like that. So it uh, might be something you guys want to check out. Uh, definitely kind of a cool movie. Uh, and then we've got the, uh, some more of the electronics got a battery pack in there and a couple batteries we've got some uh, some little brad clips and it looks like maybe some uh, some sticky foam pieces in there as well so uh, lots of pieces to go together mostly electronics and stuff so uh, we've got those to where they'll kind of I'm sure all go together and and uh, maybe I'm thinking this is going to be lighting up different colors I think that's kind of what they're talking about matter of fact that's really what it looks like on the picture right here there's what it looks like kind of when it's all together. And uh, so, and of course, these are the blueprints and the layouts. It has some uh, information on what it is and how it works, how things are kind of put together. It has the list of items there, as well as some pictures of what it looks like when it's working. And then on the inside here, we have all of the instructions as to how to put it together. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to uh, get this put together. We'll have a couple little shots here of 
what things look like as they're being put together. Uh, if there's any problems that we have or something kind of special, we'll go ahead and pause there for that so that you guys can see some of that information. And then we'll get it to the point where we can see what this thing really can do and get those colors kind of shining through. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first step is uh, to take and get these brads kind of put in here. You've got the little uh, apple seed pieces and you take the brads and feed them through the apple seed and then you've got a little wire that has a loop on the end. You take and feed that through and fold it over so that the wire's on the back side and then you have the little apple seed uh, piece on the front side. And this little apple seed piece I think is going to be kind of like a dial. It turns everything on and off. Uh, as you as you turn it. Now one other thing to mention too is with each one of these they are all marked on the back. They do have some words and everything here and uh, the words are uh, the colors and the cool thing is that the colors correspond to the colors on the wires and I think those are all going to correspond with the way the LEDs kind of come out as well. We have the little uh, strip here that uh, we'll end up using on the front and we can actually tell which one of these is going to go where by corresponding it to the colors on the back there. Now one thing about these uh, LEDs here these do have more than the standard pins on uh, regular LEDs which usually only have two. These ones have four but that's because they have uh, all three colors on there and then the fourth pin is going to be your grounding pin. It does tell you exactly how to put these on here and according to what color. So make sure you pay attention to the pin lengths and their position when you plug in the different wires here as uh, each color goes to a different color that's part of the pin itself or the LED. All right, so we've got it put together here and uh, we've got everything kind of labeled up. Uh, now, one thing I noticed when I was putting these things together and uh, you get the, of course, the resistors in there and then the little extension wires. Uh, one thing I noticed is that some of the wires uh, that are on, like, for example, the resistors, they're kind of thin, so they don't want to stay on very well. So a little trick that I found with that is when you have the wire for the resistor, when you, you can push it in, and make sure you push it all the way in and then find out how far in it goes. Then when you take, you can pull it back out and right in the middle of that length from the end to the end of where it come, uh, stops uh, going in, take and make like a little, a little bit of a kink, like just bend it just a little bit. What that does is when it's inside of the little coupler piece there, the little uh, other, the other wires connector piece, it, makes it seem like it's a thicker wire. So instead of it being thin and being loose inside there like this, you bend it and now it one side touches or that bend touches one side and then the tip and the back end touch the other side. So now that doesn't want to move. Whereas if it's straight, it sits there and has the room to move. Uh, of course, it'll. you may have to take and twist a little bit or adjust as you're first sliding it in because it is relatively tight, but to do that, it does make it so that those stay in there much better. Uh, something else I did, too, just to make sure that these stay seated on here, is I took the additional stickies that we had and put them over top of the wire connectors there so that they will actually stay on a little bit better and they won't happen to pop off. Uh, and the nice thing is, of course, we have some extras of, of pretty much everything. We've got extra resistors. We've got an extra LED here. Uh, we even have some extra uh, push pins here and stuff as well as some extra wires. And with those, of course, it makes it nice that you can uh, uh, adjust this a little bit as you need to. But there we go. That's what it looks like just as it's as it's sitting there. And of course, when you put the uh, crystal piece in, you can rotate this around and have whichever part you want facing the front. We kind of have it cockeyed kind of sitting on a slant to the side here uh, and then with your little tabs here you can take and move each one down and they correspond to the colors now make sure you get the colors on the right tab uh, you could of course test it out and see which color it is first before you put the thing on there uh, which is actually what they suggest here I was able to just take and use the wire on the other side and correspond it that way 
All right, so uh, with these, now we're ready to try it out. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And with these little uh, uh, tabs here, I went ahead and flexed them out just a little bit. I was playing around with them earlier and they wanted to slide underneath the pins. And in doing so, they didn't, they seemed like to spring back out, like they, they would touch if you held them there, but then they would kind of spring back out. And I think that's just because of how you have them connected underneath. They don't necessarily want to turn all the way. It may just be the angle that I have, Matt. You may not have that same problem. But if you take and flex them out just a little bit so that they've got just a little bit of play, you can kind of get the tip of your finger underneath there. You can move it over to where it goes over top of the pin. And here you can see the red. And let's go ahead and shut off some lights so that you can see this maybe a little bit better. All right, so uh, we've got the lights all kind of turned off, obviously nice and dark here to see this. Let's go ahead with the red. And as you can see, the red lights up really nice. And then let's go ahead with the green. Very bright, and on the camera it seems much whiter than it than it actually is. Um, this green is very, very green. It's it's kind of uh, an emerald green, or a little bit brighter than emerald green, maybe uh, Kelly green, or somewhere somewhere in that range. And then we've got the blue, and there's the blue. And again, the blue is a little bit brighter. All the colors on the screen seem to be much brighter than they are. Uh, here in real life. This is uh, the blue there you can see is kind of, it seems like it's a, a light blue I think on the screen. Um, but here as I'm looking at it, it's very much an indigo. Uh, it's very, very nice uh, rich blue color. So very, very cool. Let's go ahead and add some green to it. And now this is a teal in the way that it looks to me. I think it kind of went white for you guys. Uh, then we'll try the red with it. And that is kind of a fuchsia color, I guess. Uh, it's very pinkish looking. So, uh, you know, but uh, then we'll go off with that. And let's try the red and the green. Now, the red and the green, they make almost a yellow. It has kind of an orange tint. Um, still, again, a little bit darker than what it shows there on screen. But very cool. So, and then if I put the red on there, this is supposed to be kind of a white. And it's very close. It's very close to a white. Not quite perfect, but pretty close. Pretty neat little idea. If you guys want to check these out, want to see the Tinker Crate line, go down there in the description below. Of course, we'll have a link for it down there as well as our social media. You can uh, check those out as well. And on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and uh, hit that little icon, either the one floating around over here in the corner or the one down there below the video. And those, of course, are for subscribing if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Hit that bell icon to let yourself get notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys, that'll do it for me today. My name's Cougar. And uh, this, of course, is the world of me and another episode from the Akiwi's Tinker Crate. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!